and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for the Path of Champions. That's right, it is here, the new one player PVE mode in Legends of Runeterra and I can't wait to try it out. This is gonna be the very first playthrough. So we're gonna be discovering it together and uh, just kind of seeing, you know, experimenting, seeing what it's all about. Um, so let's just kind of get into it. It says choose, so this is, you know, on the labs page, if you go to the play tab and then labs, this is the Path of Champions. Choose your champion and adventure across Rune Terra. Complete adventures to level up your champion, gain new powers and items, and unlock new challenges. So I believe there's a prologue to start with. So we're going to kind of see what that's all about. Let's see what we got. Ooh. It's a big old world out there, but who cares about that? Let's get to the cool stuff. Oh, click here. <laughs> is that Vi? Ooh, time to pay old fat hands a visit. Okay, so wait, click it on. Okay. So we got Jinx's Adventure, difficulty one. Jinx decides that it's time to bury the hatchet with an old nemesis, but in the way of her heroic redemption stands a fluffy bunny, a meddling cop, and, well, Jinx herself. Okay, it looks like there's right under here where my camera takes up says badges earned. There's three of them there. So let's just see what happens. Let's go and play. News on the street is your right ideas, kid. Dried up, <laughs> emptied out. <laughs> no, -uh. like, did you hear about that factory that went ballistic and made those crazy mechs? Huh. Everyone knows about that sport. <laughs> well, what if we were to pay it a little visit and? Add a little hay to the haywire, eh? <laughs> hey, you know, that might just fly, kid. <laughs> you guys are the best. <laughs> That's awesome. All right, so let's see here. So home sweet home. So there's home. And we can kind of zoom out a little bit. Okay. Ooh, looks like we're going to be going up here. And eventually getting to Vi. All right, so let's get started. So we got the Klaxon Lawbot. First thing, first things first. So no enemy powers. Seems like the enforcers got to the the warehouse before you. It'd be a real shame if they got exploded. Wait, cancel. Sorry, there's a loadout button. Let's go and load it out. Um, let's see. For Jinx, we should probably play Jinx board, right? Yeah, that seems like what we should be doing. Let's go to Jinx board, Jinx card back. The loose cannon. Um, there's wasn't there a brand new guardian? Yeah, the Hextech Beast. <laughs> That's pretty buff. Um, you always gotta make sure your loadout's good. All right, there we go. I guess we're about to face. Caitlyn, and there is Vi in here also. So I guess we could get a couple of Vi's and... Alright, Caitlyn. Okay. Let's fight. Hey, Stream Noodles, Violet. What's up, everybody? Alright, so we're starting off our first adventure with the Path of Champions. Okay, Pow Pow. This is a brand new card. Pow Pow, two... Two mana burst, deal three to a unit. That's a strong card. Let's send you back. <laughs> Poor opponent, they only get three cards. So there are, so like, as you can see, this isn't like a regular, um, this isn't a regular little card that um, you can use at all in other places of Runeterra. There are uh, cards that are specifically just for these um, Path of Champions game mode. So you can see that here because you have it in hand. See how down here there's no rarity symbol. Like there's a common rarity symbol on the Darren Coro. So it starts off pretty easy. I mean, we are in the prologue, of course, and we're at the very beginning of the prologue. So yeah, it's starting off pretty easy. My opponent had one less card than us, and they also started with one less mana. And then they're just playing one mana one ones. So, you know, they want to be able to win to start with, that's for sure. So we'll kind of see if, if we get it, uh, if it starts turning into any kind of challenge later. So I'm going to go ahead and 
um, play Jinx to enable us to have get excited. We don't really need to shoot that thing. And now we will just attack, and we have lethal lots of ways. Lethal. Alright, we'll just let that happen. Thanks, Tolly Zoo. Tolly Zoo coming in with the good luck. Alright, so now this is new. Um, they have all these together in one screen now for your quest. You have your um, event, because we have the event pass, and then our, our normal, regular quest, our total experience, all of that. So that's pretty nice having all of those together. Okay, battle rewards. Let's add in... I don't even know what our deck looks like. I guess if we hit the little I down here, the info, here's our deck. So we have two Daring Poros, two other one mana two ones, Boom Crew, Pow Pow, Rocket Border. What's Rocket Border? Two mana three three quick attack? That card's busted. Yeah, they, they give you some power here. Alright, so we... Our deck's already pretty good. Um, so we can make the Tinkers just four ones, and we have the other two Tinkers anyway, so they can just all be four ones. Or make these things two threes. I kind of like these things being two threes instead. I like one mana two threes more than one mana four ones. Ooh, got a new power. When you summon an ally, deal one to the enemy nexus. Or round star grant the weakest ally plus one plus one. That explosive entrance is pretty sweet. We, we've used this a lot in like all the other um, different Lab of Legends type stuffs. And this is honestly maybe just the better power. But we've never used this before. It says epic. It has the cool little monkey get excited art. We're going to go ahead and go with that. Not too worried about beating the <laughs> prologue. <laughs> and Stream Null says, I'm looking forward to, to seeing more of the progression for the late game. Yeah, we'll have to see, you know, we'll have to see what it's like whenever you start. Um, okay, so there's they show the powers up there. So that you can click on this button over here for the powers. Um, whenever they start... Uh, you know, getting to the more uh, higher difficulties. Because this is going to be like Lab of Legends, where there will be different difficulties. If you remember with um, the Saltwater Scourge, there was only just one difficulty each time you played it. But once once we get through the prologue here, kind of see what it's like, we will be able to have like normals and heroics and legendaries and stuff like that, I believe, as far as I know. You want tanks? You want burners? Huh? Right, let's, let's go with the Boom Crew rookie. Fabios, I believe that the powers are fixed. I got the same two in both of my runs. Okay, so yeah, that makes sense for the, the prologue just to have fixed powers. Um, you know, like they want... It's probably not... That makes sense. It's not really random in this scenario where they just want everybody to kind of be doing the same thing. What's up, Raven Quill? Raven says, hey there, can you tell me how you change your card back in, in, in Path of Champions? Absolutely. I'll show you. Whenever you, when, right before you click, like, start start game, there's in the bottom right-hand corner, which will, be, which will be covered up by my camera, but I'll show you here in just a second whenever we start our next game, there's a button for the loadout. And that is where you go for that. Pow pow. Man, that thing's burst speed also. We get some broken cards they give us. <laughs> Two mana deal three. Alright, well, obviously we could have attacked and just won the game. Alright, a little 5-3. But I want to level up Jinx. So we're going to do this to go ahead and level up Jinx. And now we'll attack and win the game. So there are five total prologues here. We're doing Jinx's, you know, you start with Jinx's prologue, but I guess chat's saying that there are uh, four other ones also. Vi, Echo, Caitlyn, and Jace all have a prologue. So it looks like everybody in Piltover and Zon have has a prologue. I'm guessing. Okay. Uh, so we have the one mana three fours, or... I don't know, we could turn these things into two threes also. Actually, you know what, let's just do that. Let's just give them all some belts. Ooh. All right, zoom on in. What do we got here? 
the loose cannon. Special delivery. Oh, so now Jinx is going to have this epic power. Pachoo! A rocket border zooms by before hitting a nearby wall, spilling out bullets and bombs everywhere. OMG, you wonder, is this heaven? So when Jinx is summoned, create the loose cannon in hand. Cool. When the foe attacks, grant their strongest attacker, plus one, plus zero. All right, so right here, um, if I get rid of my webcam, this button right here for loadout. So before, you know, instead of clicking fight, click loadout, and that's where you can change your different uh, that. Oh, let's use Gilded Jinx. We just got brand new Gilded Jinx. So that's how you can change all your cosmetics here. Yeah, 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 we got powers. Um, all these cards are broken. You're a we're, we're taking it down, smokes. Smokes. Yeah, my idea. Huh? You want tanks? You want murder? Huh? Yeah, having one man two threes is pretty nice. And survive the two ones from the opponent. You're welcome, no problem. Glad to help. Sorry, Boom Crew Rookie. I know you're pretty cool and stuff, but we're just going to keep playing two threes. Oh, Ravenquill with the Twitch Prime sub also. Thank you very much, Ravenquill. I appreciate that help and that support. Yeah, I'm always I'm always happy to answer any kind of questions you'll have. That's I I enjoy questions and just y'all uh, talking and chat and everything. All right, so we're gonna just play another one and I guess Rocket Border over Boom Crew. Man, our deck's already pretty good. Having all these one man two threes. Looks like your chick. What are you talking about? I can't skip through that, my bad. Pow pow. Fire! Time to move. First big mission. <laughs> Alright. Take care. Green says I'm gonna head out and play more Path of Champions. <laughs> this is so awesome. <laughs> yeah, this yeah. This is awesome. We're going, you know, kinda just Getting through the prologue and everything, this is uh, something that's a little bit more for newer players also at the beginning, but I, I can't wait to see what it's like uh, whenever we get to like the world map and everything. And, and another win for Mr. Buttons! <laughs> I, I'm cool. I'm... No way. Mr. Bunny! <laughs> no! Oh, okay. I was saying Mr. Bunny was in trouble. Did you guys set this up? Oh, Mr. Bunny is a real old friend. And he knows my oldest friend. Her name is Vi. Oh. All right. Well, let's go ahead and just make this Daring Poro a 2-4. So now we have a lot of one drops that shall survive. And looks like we got some reinforcements. Ooh, we get to choose. We want Draven, Zed, or Elise. Um, I think I'm gonna choose Draven. Well, I guess Zed probably attacks and kills things better, but I like Legion, Saboteur, and Vision more than Ghost and Shadow Fiend. But Zed's like, you know, Zed's kind of messed up. I'll just take Zed because Zed's pretty messed up. All right, Sticky Wump. Bump goes the Wump. <laughs> that's that's really cute. Start of the game, the foe summons a Stinky Wump. The foe's Stinky Wumps have Ephemeral. Bump goes the Wump. <laughs> Thank you, Dark Fortress. Thanks for the donation deck there. Haven't gotten to Jace yet. You're on Echo's path right now. All right, yeah, we know the powers. New Jinx. <laughs> like, that's how you eat some cake. <laughs> uh, 
All right, what do we got? Uh, we'll just keep it. Looks good. I think all of our hands and everything's gonna look pretty good. You want it? I'll it. I should have read. I should have read those. Oh yeah, they get this, these stinky wumps. Okay, they got a house wump. When I'm summoned, plant two flash bomb traps randomly in the top ten cards. Well, that's a pretty good little little card. No, I I haven't uh, tried Jace yet. No, this is my very first run with anybody. Um, you know, just starting this right now. So I think our power is summon. Right? Yeah, you can you can go ahead and die too, but I'm sorry. Yeah, it is. So it's it's everything that summon does one. My skill is unrivaled. Well, we could play Jinx. So we will. Rules are made to be broken. Her people. Deal one to the enemy Nexus. Reduce the cost of your cards everywhere by two. What? That's messed up. Alright, so we're going to be taking damage. Man, and that's burst speed, and then just reduces the cost of everything by two? Dude, that is crazy. Too bad they already died, but that was going to be crazy. Man, options, options, options. So we can have... Um, man, I kind of like... kind of like just getting more one mana two threes. We can actually make st stuff... Um, bigger. Um, so the, uh, we don't really need to heal. Alright, so we're gonna have Caitlyn. Um, cause, also with Jinx, you wanna have, like, a whole lot of one drops anyway, right? So you can empty your hand. Alright, round start, the foe plants one flash bomb trap randomly in the top ten cards of their deck. So every single round start, we just get a flash bomb trap against Caitlyn. Okay. So get rid of these two cards. Keep these other one drops. If it's not Piltover's poshest police person. Uh, look, I got a little present for Vi, so tell me where she is, or I'll do something. I see you put the usual amount of time and effort into planning this all out. And by that, I think Caitlyn meant not very much time at all. So you see how Caitlyn has like the police dog guardian, <laughs> the police bumper guardian. Oh, you can't go backwards, so I should have just taken the heal. Okay, well, maybe there's like an achievement for not using any of the heals. I don't know. <laughs> the Lunar Beast is kind of loud, aren't you? Alright, so I'm just trading there. I know it's not like the best trade for me, but it's fine. So they do have a Caitlyn that we know about in hand, and so what, they're at 11? Um. 
something on that case. Can't fly if you don't try. That's true. Everybody knows that. So I know I'm just sacrificing one of those to get two points of damage across, but uh, that's what I want to do whenever they're at three. <laughs> the AI is now using emotes. As if I'd ever betray my own partner. Your own Oh. I tried to. What's on your mind, Sheriff? Nothing new, I'm afraid. What do you know of Sid? Peacemaker protocol. Man, they are. So long, City of Progress. Man, they're they're getting some damage in here. All right, so just playing uh, Zed and then attacking with Zed, um, you know, like that puts the Living Shadow into play, and so just those two points of damage finish it out. But that was getting kind of close there. None escape their shadow. Okay, so you have the three ranking badges for finishing, just like in um, the Saltwater Scourge. Okay, lip. Okay, so we have Mischief and Mayhem. Two mana, deal one to the enemy. Deal one to an enemy and two to the enemy nexus. Got you. And when cast, cast me again. So two to an enemy and four to the enemy nexus for two mana. That's pretty great. Or we have one mana twin disciplines, which is pretty great. Or a three three green glade elder, which is also pretty great. We'll just take the epic. That's usually pretty good. And it looks like it rehealed us anyway. Last chance, baboon, to tell me we're a <laughs> Baboon. To pop it. Even you wouldn't dare. There are innocents here, children. Hmm. Guess you better tell me then. <sighs> She's at the Golden Way Academy. Procedure training. <laughs> Golden Way, here we come. Oh, but first, you. Hey, fishbones, you got that? All right, we get a new power for defeating Caitlyn. Oh, so we get to sort how the story. Yeah, decide how the story ends. Should we capture Caitlyn or ransom Caitlyn? Um, mana, f yeah, mana flow is definitely like amazing. This round start stun the strongest enemy is pretty sweet, also. Um, but how do we want the story to end? Do we want to capture Caitlyn or ransom Caitlyn? I think we want to ransom. You don't need to capture Caitlyn and have Caitlyn be all sad and stuff. So that's pretty cool. You get to choose how you want the story to, to go. Um, and it looks like we have two paths. We can go this way with a heel or this way with a, with an exclamation mark. Let's go towards the exclamation mark over the heel. I don't think we need the heel. All right, I have tenure. Game start, the foe creates a Professor Von Yip in hand and it costs two less. All right, so they're gonna, they always start with a two mana Professor Von Yip. Yeah, Agent Iowa says these comics were really, really well done. They they really were. This is awesome. Okay. So this looks pretty good. We can also... I don't know. I kind of want, kind of want to keep that. See, we can mulligan things more and look for our champions, but these cards are also pretty good. The claws. The puke. The indifference. I must break you, Professor. All right, good. Can get rid of that thing. Oh, it's the loneliest Poro. So I'm keeping like this pow pow is going to be important for killing the Professor Vanya because I'm assuming that this round, you know, round two, they wanted to play that Professor or not. Assumptions can be wrong. Everyone says that Arcane's done really, really well. That it's just designed really well. I should probably be playing the Daring Poro first before attacking. I am surprised they're not blocking that 2-3. Oh, yeah. 
I mean, I, I assume they probably would have blocked the Zonite Urchin and it would have been at the same life total anyway. Alright, so I think I'm just going to hold on to this in case we draw another Zonite Urchin and discard it. I guess that's not very likely. Alright, never mind. Alright, so we got 8 Elusive there at 9. And then our Tin Skull Tinker will do the extra point of damage. We are a good Jinx deck in the fact that we're going to be emptying our hand, you know, with getting the mana flow starting with an extra mana every round, or like the beginning of the, the game. And then also with all these one mana units, we do empty our hand super fast. We are a very good Jinx deck. Yeah, and Killer says Arcane super good and no league knowledge needed. When and that's awesome. Yeah, you don't have to know about League of Legends and know everything about it, all that kind of stuff. Um, I guess I don't know. <laughs> these these are all pretty good. I'll just take some get excited. I mean, I don't really have cards to discard. Eh, oh well. We'll take some get excited. We're a jinx deck. Boom ba boom. Add to spell, make more boom. When cast, cast me again for that get excited. So now, like, all of our get excited will have cat when cast, cast me again. Uh, pow pows, when cast, there's a 50% chance to create a copy of me in hand that costs zero. And then also Mystic Shot that has something that's behind my power or my uh, camera. When cast, grant the top ally in your deck power and health equal to my cost. Okay, so grant the top ally plus two plus two. I guess we just get double get excited. If we want to really, you know, boom, if we want to add more boom, we can make Jinx bigger. Oh, we have to, to buy him. Okay, I got you. I will purchase that. Make Jinx bigger. And we'll make that bigger. And we'll make that bigger. Why not? We can spend all our coins. Okay, so they have Zonite Grit. Round start, the foe grants its allies plus one, plus one. Okay, we're, we're facing Vi. Let's just send those back. I want to find Jinx. There's Jinx. Jinx! Caitlin told me you were looking for me, but why? <laughs> because, big sis, I got you a present! Oh, but first, I kind of promised I'd take old fish bones here for a little spin. Huh. Well, I hear the admin office is in need of a little renovation. Ooh, renovation, eh? <laughs> So why haven't I watched Arcane yet? I just don't have, uh, I don't have Netflix right now, but whenever I do get Netflix in the future, I'm definitely going to be watching Arcane for sure. Alright, that's kind of scary. They're going to just keep growing this thing. Hmm. No. We'll pl play the elusive. They grow the weakest enemy. Oh, all allies? Whoa. Well, that's pretty good. Alright, when I'm summoned, create a law bot in hand. A one mana three two? Okay. Alright, so we found Jinx. Now we can use this loose cannon. We'll take some damage. Do one of the enemy Nexus and then reduce all the cost of these cards by two. That's pretty awesome. Okay. So we're going to... Let's see. I'm going to empty my hand. It's just, you know, exactly how I want to empty the hand. Like, do I want to play this Aereo Knot thing? Maybe. We'll go and play you. Do 
go four to a follower. Um. <laughs> So, of course, these are both, like, double get excited. Oh, is only the one a double get excited? I guess because the one was a Jinx's get excited. It didn't count. didn't get double. It's kind of a ripoff. No. Training. Guess I broke one too many walls. <laughs> we have so much in common. <laughs> oh. Stands for violence. This is gonna do four to the enemy nexus, two to an enemy. That's fast speed. All right. So in order to make sure that we unload. Oh. Make sure we get the Super Mega Death Rocket. Whoa, Super Mega Death Rocket has new art for the new Jinx. New Super Mega Death Rocket art. I wonder if it has a new animation. No, okay, same animation. All right, and all we have to do is play the Zonite Urchin. And there's the one point of damage. <laughs> and they're sad. All right, there's the Jinx Prologue. <laughs> Dark Fortress says these cosmetics are great. The Golden Age of Riot. Reputation and adventure complete. A skill for usually the the skill is uh, you know not using any healing, but the healing wasn't. I tried not to use any healing. Maybe it's just because I was at twenty four health at the end. Maybe like I had to be at full health at the end. Oh, awesome. Stream Noodle says my choices were different, so the story was different. Wow, okay. That's really cool. What? Well, what a rush. You know, I think I learned a trick or four from that little adventure -roo. Rank up ready. Ignore the huge list of nerds for now. See my face? Just pick it. Pick me. I'm a star, baby. Time to treat myself with something new and splody. All right, new deck and plus one, plus one. Unlock a new Jinx deck. Jinx becomes begins every adventure with studded leather. All right, we get new deck and plus one, plus one. Yes, new toys, new Jinx. Stick with me, kid, and we'll go places. All right, the Path of Champions has been unlocked. Become a legend. Grow in power as you battle across the lands of Runeterra. Recommended, recommended, recommended. All right, so you can journey alongside Vi and beat up some enemies. Level up Jinx for more mayhem and chaos. Or start a campaign with another champion from Runeterra. Time to choose our next run. All right, well, those of y'all watching later on YouTube, that's going to be the end of the Jinx prologue. 
don't worry we're gonna go ahead and do another run now and i'll post that one up later on youtube leave those comments and let me know how you're loving the path of champions if you've done anything really cool um have anything like that uh, anything you want to share uh let us know all right but uh, that's gonna be it for this video so as always thank you so much for watching and we'll see you for the next one